First, I want to thank Brother Levi for letting me come up here and preach. Now. I am so ashamed of you, I heard a woman yell at her young son. Everyone close by heard it too. You know you can hear a little of everything at Walmart. While this was not a good way to correct anyone, the boy must have done something or failed to do something he had already been warned about. I'm sure that all of us have been in that little boy's shoes before and have done something we were later ashamed of. We're human, and that sometimes happens. Hopefully, we learn from our mistakes. While there are some things we should be ashamed of and do better, there are some things we should never be ashamed of. We should never be ashamed of Jesus and the plan he gave for us to be saved. Paul tells us in Romans 1, 16, For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes. We might be in a group of people in school or at work where there are not many Christians. They might laugh at the idea of believing in Christ. It might not be a popular thing to believe among people who are cool. It might be easier not to speak up and not to let them know that I believe in Christ. I might be ashamed. At times, even some of Jesus' followers were ashamed of him. When Jesus told his disciples about the sheep of his flock being scattered, Peter said, Though they all fall away because of you, I will never fall away. But in times of weakness, Peter did that very thing. He denied Christ three times. He was ashamed to speak for Jesus. We are ashamed of Jesus today if we refuse to accept him by obeying the gospel of Christ. We, Jesus had something to say about that in Luke 9, 26. For whoever is ashamed of me and my words of the Son of Man will be ashamed when he comes in his own glory. We should not be ashamed to speak for Jesus. My grandmother told me about an old hymn that was sung in the church over 50 years ago. It is called, I Am Not Ashamed to Speak for Jesus. It is not in any of our songbooks today, so I won't try to sing it with you, but I will read the first two verses in the chorus to you. I am not ashamed to own that Jesus came and died on Calvary, that by his blessed free atonement he prepared a way for me and fixed it so that I from bondage might forevermore be free. Oh, praise the Lord, I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed to tell the sinners that the Lord will save their souls. If they will only come believing, he will cleanse and make them whole. And he'll prepare for them an entrance to that everlasting fold. Oh, praise the Lord, I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed to speak for Jesus. I'm not ashamed to praise his name. I'm not ashamed to own his blessings. Oh, praise the Lord, I'm not ashamed. This song pretty much sums up the way we should feel about Jesus and his gospel plan to save us. We should never be ashamed, but always be proud to say that Jesus came and died for us. This gift made it possible for us to be forgiven of our sins and live with him eternally. Because of his great love for us, we should not be ashamed, but glad to share this good news with everyone. We should let them know that he will forgive them too and prepare a place for all of us who believe and obey him. May none of us ever be ashamed to speak for Jesus. Amen.